Hello, my mathematicians. Today we're going to be looking at evaluating numerical expressions. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer the question, in what order must operations be evaluated to find the solution to a problem? So here it says, remember that numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. So here are examples of numerical expressions. To evaluate or find the value of a numerical expression with more than one type of operation, you must follow the rules called the order of operations. The order of operations tells you in what order you should evaluate an expression. So if you look over here, it says perform operations in parentheses, word groupings, multiply and divide from left to right, and then add and subtract from left to right. Left to right. So here we have the problem. This is a bread recipe calls for four cups of wheat flour and two cups of rye flour. To triple the recipe, how many cups of flour are needed in all? It says evaluate three times four plus three times two to find the total number of cups. Gabriella did not follow the order of operations correctly. She added first and then multiplied. So it says explain why Gabriella's answer is not correct. It would be she added instead of multiplying first. So here it says follow the order of operations by multiplying first and then adding. So we're going to do 3 times 4 which is 12, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. So 12 plus 6 is 18. So 18 cups of flour are needed. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the page. It says evaluate expressions with parentheses. To evaluate an expression with parentheses, follow the order of operations. Perform the operations in parentheses first. Multiply from left to right, then add and subtract from left to right. So our example. Each batch of granola Lena makes uses three cups of oats, one cup of raisins, and two cups of nuts. Lena wants to make five batches of granola. How many cups of oats, raisins, and nuts will she need in all? Write the expression. So we have five times the quantity, three plus one plus two. First, perform the operations in parentheses. So 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And then we have to multiply. So 5 times 6 is 30. So Lena will use 30 cups of oats, raisins, and nuts in all. Here we want to answer this question. What if Lena makes 4 batches? Will this change the numerical expression? Explain. If she's making four batches instead of the five batches, it is going to change the numerical expression. Because instead of multiplying by five, you're multiplying by four. Yes. You will multiply by four instead of five. I hope that you now have a better understanding of evaluating numerical expressions.